Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 5th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And welcome to Morning Dew. My name is Mike, and this is Daily Events Worldwide. And we just had a very large event, a 7.6 earthquake southeast of Loyalty Islands. And that's right, there was a tsunami warning with this earthquake. This was a large earthquake at a shallow depth, 10 kilometer depth. So there were tsunami warnings in the Pacific Ocean region, which is Tadine, New Caledonia, which is the epicenter of this earthquake. So the tiny islands just north, west and west of this earthquake, most likely, will be affected by a tsunami, a coming tsunami. So please stay aware and prepared and make sure that everybody is sharing this video and sharing this channel you can stay aware and prepared during these drastic times that we're living in there's a lot going on and we're going to get to it right quick here we're just going to quickly refresh as i was just about to make a video and right at the end of about to release it the large 7.6 happens in new caledonia Southeast of Loyalty Islands, Tadeen, New Caledonia, 153 kilometers east southeast of Tadeen, at very early hours, 4:24 a.m. Tsunami warnings issued in the Pacific Ocean for most likely the small islands west and northwest. So, good morning, Fiji. Good morning, good morning, Tadeen. Please stay aware. Thoughts and prayers going out to anybody being affected by this large 7.6 earthquake that just rung off. And I was just about to release a, a video in regards to what is going on with our planet right now. And I've been talking about it briefly in the last couple videos. But I do believe we're on a quick possible pole shift. And I think our North Pole and South Pole are being pulled towards each other. And they're about to snap. And they're pulling on the western part of the Ring of Fire. And I'm just receiving new updates here. There has been a tsunami warning issued for parts of BC and Alaska and the United States. So stay aware and prepared grand solar minimum we are here it is happening please share this message share my research there are a lot of other channels that are doing it too share their message share their research the time is now we need to come together because look at this we've got a large figure eight in the northern hemisphere in the Southern Hemisphere, wind speeds have slowed down dramatically. So what I've seen happen in my years of studying the weather is that the North Pole and the South Pole bounce their weather back and forth as summer, winter, and conjunction with the planets as we go and travel through the solar system But I've never seen this before. And I do believe that our North Pole is now somewhere over Alaska. As that large high pressure ridge is sitting right over about three very powerful low pressure systems with deep lower level troughs. And looking at this map, mind you, these, I mean, these are at uh, 10,000 feet. Okay, these are wind speeds of 10,000 feet, just so you know. Upper level winds. Let's get to weather here by Meteor Earth. Brought to you by Meteor Mike. And we're looking over North America. Lots of cold temperatures dipping all the way down to the middle of Texas later in the week. But some really frigid temperatures in Calgary here the next few days. 
Temperatures dropping down to minus 18 degrees Celsius. Most likely feeling like minus 21, 22 degrees. So stay aware and prepared in Alberta. The cold is coming quickly. And parts of Texas right now, they are dry, but there is a nasty system brewing in the next few days. So please stay aware and prepared. There are already a lot of flood alerts, tornado warnings all across the southeastern United States and in the Gulf states. Thoughts and prayers going out to all subscribers that are living in the states. You guys are going through some crazy, weird weather events. Canada as well. Atlantic provinces receiving winter, a lot of it. Winter isn't even here yet, and they've received almost 400 centimeters of snow. That's a lot of snow, folks. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you truly ready to adapt? Are you truly ready to survive? Look at the Pacific Ocean. There's still large, low pressure after low pressure building. Deep lower level troughs. Our atmosphere is being compressed by our collapsed magnetosphere. And that's due to lack of activity from the sun. Overlooking South America, large atmospheric river running straight out of the tropics there and into the southern hemisphere. But watch for a lot of torrential downpours as the daytime evaporation increases in South America. Europe also receiving a lot of early cold temperatures and snow amounts throughout eastern parts of Europe, western parts of Russia as well. Ireland receiving a lot of snow in the mountains over the next few days. Watch for high winds as well. But things are drastically changing around the planet, so please... Subscribe to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide and I will keep you up to date with all of the latest disasters and extreme weather events from around the world. So I'm going to get more in depth into in a couple days here, okay? But we're looking at large low pressure centers and there's now eight of them in the Southern Hemisphere. If we see that in the Northern Hemisphere next year, we know that we are in trouble. I do believe that these atmospheric rivers are going to become like octopus arms across the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere, drenching the planet after a volcanic winter. So another rare earthquake here north of Severnaya Zemla in the North Pole a couple weeks before Christmas and we've got an earthquake on Santa's doorstep nobody is safe during these days nowhere is safe the coastlines are not safe underground might be safe that's all I'm saying I'm going to get more into that in the coming days. So please stay tuned to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. This was the last 24 hours for earthquakes from around the world before we got that 7.6 earthquake in the Fiji region. So there was a lot of action and a lot of very deep earthquakes. Now, what I wanted to point out too is that those deep earthquakes were right in the regions where I believe that our North Pole and South Pole are being tugged towards each other. That's right. I believe that our magnetic fields have been disrupted so much that our North and South Pole are being pulled towards each other. And you can almost see it here with all the action in Alaska and all of the deep earthquakes in Fiji and the Tonga region. Recently, there have been many men. There's been many. 
deep earthquakes in Fiji region. This is not normal. So stay aware and prepared. This is going to go back to Alaska and it's going to bounce back and forth as our North Pole and South Pole are being pulled towards each other during a pole shift. I do believe that we are on the verge of a pole shift and it's happening now. It's happening across the planet. Much love to you all. God bless. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.